Using markers in Final Cut Pro is a handy technique. Markers can be used as notes for the filmmakers, to help sync video with audio, or to add chapter and compression markers for use in DVD Studio Pro, or scoring markers for Soundtrack Pro. To add a marker within a clip or sequence, use the keyboard command M. This can be done when the playhead is in a static position or even on the fly. Marking on the fly within a clip is useful to keep time with the music track, and you can add as many markers as you like. Another useful technique is to tap Ctrl V while the sequence is playing. This will temporarily add markers, and when you stop playback, those markers are converted to cuts in the timeline. To navigate between the markers, use Shift-M to move to the next marker, or Option-M to go to the previous marker. If a clip is not highlighted, you will only be able to make markers or navigate between them in the sequence itself. To add notes or make changes, navigate to a marker and hit M again. This brings up the Edit Marker window, where you can rename the marker and also change the color label for additional organization. To add chapter, compression, or scoring markers, make sure the markers are only added to the sequence and not to an individual clip. Click on one of the choices in the Edit Marker window, and a comment is added as well as a change to the marker color. After exporting the sequence, these marks will show up in DVD Studio Pro or Soundtrack Pro. To learn more about markers, check out Final Cut Pro Help under the Help drop-down menu, or stop by Sealy Mud 110, or call extension 5069. Thanks for watching.